Hey, what's going on guys? It's Beast Pokeballer here as always, and uh, right before we get into the battle, I just want to say I'm sorry that I was like extremely nervous during this recording. I stutter a lot and I mess up my commentary a bit. Uh, it's not really a big deal, it doesn't affect the battle at all, uh, but I just wanted to warn you guys that I was not on my best commentating game for this battle. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always, coming at you guys with the Week 2, or Season 2, Week 2, MPA Battle. This week, guys, the Beast Pokeballer, aka me, and the Dallas Star Raptors are taking on Jerry Oak and the Los Angeles Landers. Last season, uh, Season 1, we had our battle, Jerry came out victorious, and we're going to see today if I can put up a good fight. Um, this is our second time recording the intro, because, like, I don't know, Jerry, like, brought the wrong team or something, so we just had to restart. <laughs> so, you know, got my head clear in that time. I think we're good. I'm extremely nervous. I'm extremely nervous. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to try my best. And, uh, we'll see. Today we're rocking the, uh, what's that thing called? Bit Sharp coming back again. Not going to get a sweep, I guarantee you. Uh, but hey, we'll try. We got the Bit Sharp, the Cafagragus, which are both good for, uh, see, okay, like, a little plan is Sticky Webs. And if he wants to rapid spin with his Hitmonlee, we go into Cafagrius. If he wants to defog with his Flygon, we go into Bisharp. Um, anyways, we also have our Assault Vested Magmortar to help take care of his uh, Flying Landorus version, whatever it's called, Tornadus. Uh, we have Donphan for rocks. Also, it's just Lefty's good defensive tank. And finally, we have our Mega Metatram, of course. I'm extremely nervous, guys. Jerry is probably the best battler I've ever battled in my time of being a competitive battler. Um, so, this is extremely scary. Last time we battled, he 6 would me. He destroyed me. Um, so, I don't want to give you guys any high expectations. Now, let me snap a picture of his team right quick. Uh, he's going to be bringing the Infernate... Okay, so he's... Okay, he's not bringing the... Flygon or... Not bringing the Flygon... Or the, uh, what's that thing called? What's it called? Ugh, I'm sorry, guys. I, like I said, I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> extremely nervous. Flygon or Hitmonlee. Uh, but he is bringing the Infernape, which is a possible lead. Uh, when it comes to leads for me, I'm thinking that Galvantula is definitely going to be the best here. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, just if we get Sticky Webs up, it's really good. Um, if not, we can always Volt Switch. We're really fast. So that's good. Yeah, so let's see what he does. Let me get a picture real quick. Before the battle starts, there we go. That's Gucci. All right, let me plug my phone in too. I'll help. Oh God, am I nervous, guys? Am I nervous? I'm extremely nervous. I don't think you guys ever. Oh, I didn't confirm. Duh. <laughs> I forgot to press confirm. Anyways, I hope I pick music number seven because that's my lucky number. I think I did. Not sure. But let's go, guys. Season two, week two. Hopefully we can put up a good fight. That's just my main goal is to put up a good fight. We got Thunder Man. Our team is Mega Man themed. All the nicknames. Uh, like well, different Mega Man bosses. Shout out to Tabes who did that. He's the man. He's going to lead out with this thing. Now this thing has Fake Out. Which is scary. It also has Stealth Rocks. Which is scary. Whew. I could go for the Sticky Webs. I don't know if he'll outspeed turn 2. I don't believe so. So, he's the... Okay, the fake out seems completely obvious. What I could do is go into our Cafagragus. But then it's like, from there, what do I really do? Um, ugh, I don't want to mess up the sticky webs, dude. Let's look at Cafagragus, see what he's got. Check moves, just in case. Uh, pain, psychic, actually. Why don't we do that? Summary. Uh, definitely built... More defensively, obviously. Uh, we don't know if it's special or physical. Also, I don't want to take a knockoff. Maybe we should just stand uh, and eat the fake out. Turn one. Is that a good idea? Uh, no. No, I'm going to go into Shade Man. Eat the fake out. I think that's our best play. If he wants to go get rocks up, then I guess that's what he's going to do, which will suck, because it's potentially breaking our sash. He's going to go for the U-turn. Alright. I could have set up sticky webs there. That's actually unfortunate. Uh, good job, Jerry. What's he going to go into? Oh, I got the mummy. doesn't matter. What's he going to go into? We can take on this thing really well. Um, Tyranitar, definitely. I wonder if this Tyranitar is special. That'd be really scary. 
Yeah, that'd be actually really scary. Um, the ideal matchup would be at one point we get our Metacham in against his... Against his Tyranitar, because then we can set up a sub, because we're running sub Metacham. Oh, sticky webs would have been actually insane. Damn, I really wish I went for sticky webs. That could have been a game changer. Uh, nothing, you know, we don't know yet. Obviously, the battle just started. Uh, for all we know, we could get him up in like two minutes. Uh, let's see, what is Jerry going to go into to deal with our Cafagrigus? I'm thinking Tyranitar, Tempest, is that the Titar? No, that's this thing, okay. This thing's also scary. This thing's very scary. Um, obviously, we're more physically defensive here. Now... Ugh, this is, this, this tornado really scares me. It really does. He's most likely Assault Vested. I don't think he can run Defog. I don't think that's a legal move. Uh, because I think it's a TM, or HM in Gen 4. <sighs> what we have to do here is definitely stay in. But what do we go for? I feel like Psychic actually won't do anything. Do we want to try and Pain Split? Like, he'll probably take us down a good amount of damage. Um... <laughs> Yeah, he'll probably hurt us pretty badly. We could just straight up go for Will-O-Wisp or, or Psychic. Uh, but I'm thinking Pain Split is the smartest move. So you get Dark Pulse? I don't know. Try not to mess up here, guys. Again, like I said, nervous. I don't want to keep rambling on about how nervous I am. Uh, I'm going to go for a Pain Split. See what that does. He's going to go for the Hurricane. We're going to avoid the... Oh, that's so bad. That is so <laughs> weird. Alright, well, he knows our game plan now, so that's not good. I actually, like, the one time you want a hurricane. I mean, for all I know, it could have okayed, so. I'm gonna will o -Wisp, predicting some sort of switch. That's almost what I want to do. Should I do it? Hell. Screw it. He's gonna try and make good. Nope. He's gonna hurricane. Nice. I could have gone for things, please. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Alright, well, after this leftovers, there's a possibility we might be able to live one more, and a pain split would actually do a ton. So I'm gonna do that. Miss, maybe? Yes, there we go. That's nice. Pain split going off. Uh, so that's gonna bring that thing, his, down a lot. He's most likely assault vested, so I'm not really expecting him to pull some sort of uh, roost out of nowhere. Uh, we actually kind of have this matchup pretty nicely. I want to go for the will here. here. Uh, I don't think he's going to stay in. If he does, then hey, I'm wrong. Okay, he does. We're going to avoid it. Uh, will o -Wisp. All right, cool. So he's missed three, I believe, so far, if not two. Um, that actually, I feel bad for him. Um, now Hex is going to do a really good amount of damage here. So that's cool. We're at almost full health. We know we can live one, uh, bearing a crit. Confusion definitely won't help. Uh, but I think Hex is definitely a good player. Obviously, he's pure flying, not normal type, so Hex will be able to hit him. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. He's going to go for the hurricane. Can it miss? That is, I feel... Jerry, I'm sorry, man. I feel bad. Uh, but Hex doing a good amount of damage. We're going to take our lefties. And uh, one more should be able to take him out here. So I think that he's probably going to switch. But like I like there's no reason for me not to just go for a Hex. He's probably going to go into his Tyranitar. Um, or he's going to switch. I'm just going to go for the Hex either way. I don't want to over-predict anything. Uh, yeah, I don't want to overpredict anything. Don't want to make any stupid plays. So, is he going to withdraw? That's a bad start for him. I feel bad. He is going to withdraw. Okay. If he goes into Tyranitar, it would be salty. Aff. I could have... Okay, no. He's going to go back into the Infernape. So, that's cool. Uh, Irhex is going to go off. He probably has knockoff, which is pretty scary. Especially now that we know he's the physical variant. Now, what he does... I, I'm sure he cannot hit us in one kill. Uh, and we have Psychic, actually. We do have Psychic. So Psychic will be able to hit them uh, kind of hard. Kind of hard, if I do say so myself. He's going for Fire Blast, so he has a special variant, actually. Um, but either way, I think we'll be able to live this. Yeah, we're able to live that actually quite nicely. And we get to keep our leftovers. Uh, our, our Psychic's going to go off, and that should be a dead Infernape. There we go. That's a dead Infernape. Uh, that's possible rocks completely gone. He has nothing to set up rocks uh, other than the Tyranitar, but I doubt he's running his Tyranitar like defensively with rocks. Uh, he might still have it though as some sort of prediction move. 
Nice. Okay, good job, Shade Man. Actually holding it down really nicely. A really cool Pokemon, actually. He's going to go into... This is Shaman. Alright, Shaman is another really scary Pokemon that he has, because uh, beating it is scary. He's probably going to go for the Seed Flare here. I almost... He has Natural Cure. Uh, I don't want to, like, risk anything. Really. I don't want to, like... I, I'd rather have Shade Man just kind of go down. Um, like I said, we almost completely got his... We almost completely got his... Thunder Tornadus out of here, which is like one of his biggest threats that he has. Uh, and Shade Man's done his job, and he doesn't really have the rock, or he doesn't really have the rapid spin, so we don't need Shade Man as much as I assumed. Uh, so it's okay to lose him now. We can now go into Magmortar. No, wait, he gets Earth Power, doesn't he? Can we eat an Earth Power, though? This is a hard move here. Does he get Defog? I don't think so. He might, though. Hmm, so what we can do here is, what is the speed of Shaman? What's the little Shaman speed? Let's find out real quickly. Shaman speed, sorry guys, don't want to take too long, but at the same time, definitely don't want to lose, because I'm done. So, let's find, what it, uh, let's find out what it is. Shaman, and uh, Shaman's speed is going to be approximately, I just want to know if Bishop can outspeed it, I highly doubt it. And uh, I think he's leftovers, right? Okay, so Shaman's speed in normal form is 100. Uh, he's probably running like timid or modest nature. Uh, so we know that actually Thunderman can outspeed. Now, do we have Bug Buzz? We do. We really do. I'm gonna go to Thunderman. I'm gonna go to Thunderman and set up some sticky webs right here. This could be a game changer, boys. Uh, you never know. Sticky webs, I choose you. He might stay in and go for the Air Slash, I don't know. I can't set up a substitute either because, you know, Bug Buzz goes right through that. <sighs> Worst thing that could happen is a flinch with Air Slash. He's gonna withdraw, that's so nice, dude. That is so nice. He's gonna go to Grimlock, that's gonna be his, t yeah. Dude, Grimlock, that's a super cool name, hashtag. Did I just say hashtag? Uh, Transformers reference there, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, we get our sticky webs up, which is huge. He has no way to get rid of them now. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to lose our focus hash here, which sucks, but we're going to be able to volt switch here. Uh, he has to make a first turn. The question is, what do we go into? Now, I'm really thinking that we go into Junk Man, uh, since unless he's running Ice Punch, he doesn't have anything that can hit us super effective. Uh, I, I don't think most Tyranitars run Ice Punch. I could be wrong. It could cost us the game. Who knows? Oh, no, he's he's Rock Dark. Yeah, he's not ground. I almost... What if I made that mistake? What if he was secretly a ground type? Ah, uh, but yeah, Volt Switch, definitely the move to go with here. He's gonna react to the Mega Bracelet and Mega Evolve. My phone is not on Do Not Disturb. What am I doing with my life? Alrighty. So Volt Switch is gonna go off. We're gonna be able to go into Don Fan quite easily. Uh, getting up rocks could also be really big here if we get the rocks up. What if he's special attacking too? If he's special attacking, then hey, man, you, you outplayed me. Uh, but we can go into Mega Man real easily. Real easily from there and set up a sub, which is definitely going to be something super good for us. He's going to go for the D-Dance. Definitely a scary thing to do, um, but at the same time, Earthquake will do a ton of damage. We do have some, we have like four invest into attack, I believe we're, I don't remember what nature are. I think we're plus, I think it's a, what's it called? It's called? The one that's plus uh, defense minus special attack. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going for an Earthquake here. Should do good damage. Obviously, you can't Oko. Obviously, you can't Oko since we are sturdy. He might have to switch here. Um, never know. If he goes into his Tornadus, we can Ice Shark to take that thing out. So we'll see. We will see. Um, it's looking actually not too bad right now. I was afraid that... I would actually get destroyed by Jerry. Uh, he's going to go for the crunch, actually. So he's going to stay in. Uh, it's definitely going to do a ton of damage, but not even enough to be a 2 KO. Actually, he gets a defense drop. That's actually terrible. Uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. But we get our Earthquake off, and bam, that's a ton of damage right there. Now, the defense drop really sucked. I don't know if we'll be able to live another one. And I almost want to go for it. Now he's plus, okay. He's plus one, but we have Bullet Punch on Menace Chan. Okay. Do we have Bullet Punch? We have Bullet Punch or Fake Out. Either one will help us. No, it won't. Not if we have Fake Out. Hold on, let me check what I have on Menace Chan. 
Please have Bullet Punch. Cool, Bullet Punch, yeah. Alright, we have Substitute, Thunder Punch for the Slowbro. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for... He could go in the Slowbro here. Which would be pretty smart. Uh, but I think I'm just actually gonna go for the Earthquake. If he knocks us out, then that sucks. If he doesn't, and we knock him out, that's really cool. Uh, but if he knocks us off, we also can Bullet Punch with that gem. Alright, he's gonna get the Critical Hit. I'm not sure if that mattered. Um, overall, I don't think that's gonna be a game-changing crit. So I can go into Metacham now. So we do have the Bullet Punch. Now, no point in risking a substitute and losing our Metacham. That'd actually be the dumbest thing in the world. So I'm just gonna straight up go for the Bullet Punch. Should be enough to take him out with the super effective damage. Um, unfortunately, we don't get our huge attack boost till the next turn. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, Jerry, uh, the people who I'm fighting for the most for the top seed in my division are Jerry and Elliot. Um, I'm mostly scared of them. So beating Jerry could be really huge towards how we're going to do this season, whether we make playoffs or not. Um, also, that's just a good thing in general, beat Jerry, because Jerry's a really good battle armor, right? Why doesn't Metacham get knockoff, by the way? Alright, he's going to stay in, so that should be a dead Grimlock, actually. That should be a dead Grimlock. Bam! Does shiny Mega Metacham look sexy? Sexy, I swear. Bullet Punch goes off. That should definitely be enough to take him out. Oh, if that wasn't, and I, I probably would have cried. That probably would have been game. Probably definitely would have been game, man. Um, okay, so Sandstorm subsided too, which is nice. Don't take any more useless damage from that, am I right? Gonna go into Gurus. Is this a slow bro? No, this is this thing. Okay. Huh. Air Slash is a move. Air Slash is indeed a move. I! Oh, he has speed boost, doesn't he? He has speed boost, eh? Okay. I kinda wanna go into Thunder Man just cause, like, bam bam. Hmm. I know Torch Man can probably eat a hit and fire back strongly, right? But he also has Ancient Power, most likely. Is Ancient Power enough to take out Torch Man? I mean, either way, as long as we get some damage off, we should be good. Uh, so I'm going to Torch Man here. Or, yeah, Torch Man. I'm going to Duff Man. Duff Man's my uh, favorite Mega Man boss, personally. He's going to go for the Air Slash. It's going to be good damage, definitely. Uh, predictable move, but we are Assault Vested. So we're going to be able to eat another one of those, luckily. He's going to lose some HP, and it's going to be the Speed Boost variant. He's going to definitely want to hope... Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, I kind of want to go to Thunderbolt, because I just feel like that will kill either way. Whereas, if we go for the Fire Blast, one, it could miss. Two, he could go into Slowbro. So I'm going to go for Thunderbolt here. So you know, for protect. All right, that's smart. That's smart. You're smart, Jerry. Of course you're smart. You're one of the best battlers I know, like I've said multiple times. Uh, his speed boost is going to go off again. Doesn't really bother me. Um, now, did he have anything that's a super good switch in to a Thunderbolt? Let's see. Let's see. Let me look at the picture one last time. When it comes to Thunderbolt, he can definitely go into Shaman. He could go into Shaman. I'm going to go for Fire Blast. Eh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? If I was Jerry, I would stay in. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Yeah. He's gonna withdraw. If he goes into Shaman, I'm gonna be so upset. I was so close to him, that Fire Blast, man. What is this? Shame. Damn, dude! Damn, Daniel. Oh, Sticky Webs! Yo! Yo! Sticky Webs is huge. I think we might be able to outspeed. I think we might be able to outspeed and hit him with that Fire Blast. Unless he's Choice Scarfed, of course, in which case... Yes, our Fire Blast hits! That is humongous right there. That's going to take out the Shaman 100%. Guys, Magmar is a great lower tier pick. Let me tell you, I don't know why this thing wasn't tier 4. It was tier 5, which is the lowest tier. And uh, I, I snagged it up pretty early because it's like one of, probably the best tier 5 pick in the entire tier 5. So I had to get it. Now he's going to go into Barricade, which is going to be his slow bro. This thing is definitely scary. His sticky webs is gonna go off. That's okay though. Um, and at this point, nothing to really switch into. Uh, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I'm gonna Thunderbolt. He's probably specially defensive. He might set up against us, which would be scary. But hey, that's looking at a 3-8 KO. He's gonna go for the Scald, which uh, 
that can be enough to take us out? Yeah, definitely. That's okay. But now what we can do, actually, is go into our Thunder Man and launch a nice thunder at Jerry's slow bro. And uh, we'll see how he likes that. I personally don't think he'll like it too much. So let's see. Thunder. Or Bug Buzz. Oh, let's go for Thunder. I think it will... I think Thunder will confirm the kill. I don't know. It might miss too, which would be awful. I hope it does not. But hey, we'll see. Hey, we will see. Um, he's probably hoping that we're running with Thunderbolt. Uh, either way, I think it'd be enough to take him out, though. Either way, it should be enough, yeah. What's she gonna do, Jerry? His last three things are all weak to electric, and we have a Thunder Punch Metacham also. So that's nice. Uh, basically, the thing staying in our way the most is definitely, definitely gonna be that, uh, that Bug Buzz dude. He's still pretty scary. Um, but we have Sucker Punch in the back. So that's good. That's good indeed. What you gonna do, Jair Bear? Uh, he's definitely trying to make a nice play here. He's probably he might go. He might sack off actually the Dragonfly dude. Uh, I don't see what that will do, to be honest though. I think we're out. I think we're able to outspeed the Thunders, and even if we're not, uh, or not. Th I keep on the Thunders. I'm sorry, guys. The Tornadus, and even if we're not able to outspeed it, uh, Bullet Punch plus the burn damage after one turn. So we're looking pretty good here. We're looking pretty good. I don't know how much time Jerry has left, um, but you know, I know he's contemplating what his move's gonna be. Whew. Nervous guys, still nervous. We're gonna go for our Thunder. Oh, that's huge! Is it Scald enough to kill though? I don't think it is. No, nice. No burn. No burn. Nice. Alright, this thunder should hit. This thunder should definitely hit. And actually, after this we can just go into Bisharp and knock off away. Knock off and Sucker Punch. Yep, our thunder's gonna go off. That's gonna be enough to take out the Slowbra. He's gonna go into Gyrus, which is this thing. That's cool, but uh, I'm just gonna volt switch. Really, can you protect against bug buzz? Probably, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna volt switch because that should be enough to kill either way. Um, I think he's just gonna protect it and then outspeed. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. No, actually, we outspeed. No way. Wow. Yo, that should be GG. I, I think he's gonna definitely be the assault vested variant. Uh, plus, he has the burn damage on his on his Tornadus. Um, it's safest just to go into Proto Man and Sucker Punch. <sighs> Either way, it should be game because of the burn. Oh, no, no. He has Regenerator. That's actually big, too. Uh, okay, that is big. Sucker Punch, go off. If Focus Blast misses, that's game. There we go, that's game! And i just like to say to my opponent, Jerry Oak, thank you so much for the battle, Jerry. I love you, man, you know it. Um, you put up a great fight. That was a really close battle. Um, we both made some really good predictions, man. I love you, bud. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the battle, guys. Remember to hit up Jerry with his links in the description below. Like I said, I love this dude. One of the best guys I know. And uh, that's NPA season, uh, season 2, week 2. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Leave a like. Like I said, hit up Jerry. Uh, hit up all the MPA links below and follow Tabes on Twitter. He's my assistant coach. He's the man. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to win that without him, most likely. And, guys, without any further ado, let the outro roll!